Hey, how's it going guys? Georgie here, and I'm finally gonna do this tattoo tour video. So, we'll just get right into it. Start out with my first tattoo I ever got, which was this peace sign on my foot, done in my bedroom by uh, my friend Rob, who had a lot of tattoos at the time. I had none, I had no plans on getting any tattoos at this point. I get this little peace sign, I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool. I might have to get a couple more of these things. This is, I got a rug burn on a trampoline yesterday. Don't mind that. So yeah, I got this peace sign. All of a sudden, it was maybe a year later, I get my second tat, which is based off of Jaws. And then we added in some whole bunch of stuff. Kind of would have liked it more with just the red, but it was my first real tattoo. And it hurt like hell. I think this one took like five hours. It's a weird spot, it's super low. It's a big boy. It's a big one, but yeah, it's super low. Like I don't wear my pants that low, so it kind of is like that, <laughs> but yeah. So this was my second tattoo. Okay, after I got the shark, I started moving right onto my arms. And some of my first one were this love with a little skateboard that I drew with a little peace sign as the O. Then I got this one-up mushroom, because I'm a big fan of Mario. Got this golden monkey here, and the little swirlies around it. Then I got the boo, all around the same time. Then I got this guy, this little, he was a little zombie dude, and there's like ghosts coming out of him that say let's live it's kind of a secret message you can't really i don't know if many people know it says that even the guy who tattooed it i don't know if he said it but my one friend josh drew it and then i took it to my other friend alex to tattoo it and it's a little ghost that say let's live l-e-t-s-l-i-v-e -E. then later on down the road i got another tattoo artist aunt walsh to add a little cloak to make him a little reaper and he's getting eaten by a mako shark I don't know if you can see that. So we added that Mako shark with the little wave eating him. And then from then, I started getting, I might've went to this guy, this crazy gnome eating a mushroom in space. This needs to be hit really bad. This has gotta be, I would say it could be 15 years old by now. And I want to do more with this guy. He needs to be hit. This used to be bright orange. And orange doesn't stick very well on my skin. But we got this gnome with a little, little uh, lantern. He's got his spaceship back here. Ready to go. On this crazy island world place that he's in. So this was all part of it. These rocks with the eyeballs in it and the orbs. It's all part of the same piece here. And then we added in the spaceship abducting a frog and this crazy little like wasp alien creature all the way in the back there still yet to get my armpit done but i'm gonna get it done so then after that i guess i got this chameleon which was based off of my old chameleon that i used to have as a pet this was a photo of him i brought in i still really like this one a lot pretty much looked exactly like that and he's just crawling on a log he was in space he's crawling down into the water then as you head down the arm we got this koopa trooper he crashed his spaceship in the water he's partly in space he's partly underwater there he's all disoriented doesn't know what's going on come around we got the crocodile going after this fish that's going after a mushroom. In this pit of my arm, this is terrible. Getting tattooed in here is one of the worst spots on my body. Then we got this little mantis shrimp. Or is that what it's called? It's like one of the strongest animals in the world. It could, if it was like a human, it could throw a baseball into orbit and it can carry or like move like 800 times its body weight or something insane like that. But then we got the, uh, the octopus with the yellow submarine from the Beatles. So like my plan here was to go space into water themed, which a lot of people do, I guess, which I didn't know that. But this whole arm is kind of like where I started. 
I didn't know what I was into yet. Kind of like want to change it now or do something over top of it. Maybe even just hit like I don't really want the octopus. I want to do something over top of this. The octopus and like I got this hermit crab here. So like this section is I've kind of grown out of and would like just to get something. I don't want to black my arm out, but I do want to get something here. There's a lot of open skin on the octopus, so I think it'll cover fine, hopefully. But there's a shark on the back here. Yeah, then we got a hammerhead shark on the elbow behind the octopus and in between the submarine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got an anglerfish here, all different crazy colored. This one, the orange, like I said, doesn't stick in me that well. So I want to get this hit again, because I do like this tattoo a lot. I just want to like get the colors popping out a little more. But he's still cool. His little glowing light. Some more mushrooms. We got a gulper eel down here, a little filler. With some more mushrooms, his tail's wrapping around, coming out here. And I just got that water background. And on my hands, we got an ant walsh fox. Gotta hit the eye a little bit. The sun driving Uber all them years and having my hands exposed kind of did some damage, but we got let's live across my knuckles, just like I had hidden in the other tattoo. These held up great. They look just like the day I got them. Then also on my smaller knuckles or my fingers there, we got the, all the Mario Kart power-ups, some of my favorite ones. I love the boomerang one, I love the fire one. Those are two of my favorites out of those. Alright, moving on to this arm, we got my scythe on my thumb. I love this tattoo, one of my favorites that I have. Love scythes. Scythes, pumpkins, and beetles, my three favorite things. I got this jack-o'-lantern with a praying mantis coming out of the top. That used to be bright orange as well. I will get the orange added back into that again. But this one's a good, a solid seven years old maybe. Six, seven years old. I really love it. Okay, so the same guy who did the my hands, Aunt Walsh, he re-hit this. So I originally got this deer with the mushrooms. I had the video on YouTube. And I got the whole tattoo redone with bolder lines and had all the color hit, pretty much had the whole tattoo done again. Here's that. And this was based off a painting my friend Rye did, that he cut out a piece of wood in just a random shape and then he painted this deer with mushroom antlers on it. And I always loved it. So I got it right here on my arm. And I had this weird little gap here, so we filled it in with a little ghosty. Sometimes I forget that one's there because it always blends in. And as we rotate my arm, we have a Luigi's Mansion piece based off of the second game. That I took a spill skating and it scarred my, scarred my elbow kind of bad, took out some ink, but this was also re-hit by Aunt Walsh because I have a YouTube video of me getting that tattoo and then I, I re-hit the whole tattoo again. So Luigi's a little bit more crisp. The colors are in there better. He came out really good though. He did all the, bla the black work. Yeah, backgrounds. all the black work was added, like the filler. We got the little little mushroom dude with the lantern. See that guy? Yeah. All right, if we turn my arm, we got the skull with the blue eyes. We got we got a frog riding a snail, drinking a beer, with the Salvador Dali esque like a uh, clock melting in the trees. This one I, I do like it. I just would like to do something with this uh, the snail's eyes, make him a little cooler looking. But I do love the little mushroom guy behind him, with some more black filler that that ant added in. I am gonna fill in this gap. I might just put some black in there of some sort, but. So this, this owl I never got finished, but I think I'm just gonna cover it. It's not that I don't like it. I just, I don't know. I wanna put, I might put a crow here with a moon or like 
I haven't even really decided yet, but I don't think I'm gonna color that in. And I still have room for a tad or two back here. Um, go on to my chest bear. This is an ant wash piece. More traditional looking. My favorite style is neo-traditional. This is like a mix of neo-traditional and traditional. The bear with the, the arrows through it. Pretty painful. This is up there on one of my most painful tattoos. This area was just whoo, terrible. I'm terrified for this because I know this is going to be absolutely terrible. Yeah, right around here felt like he was going through my nipple even though he's not even at my nipple there. These leaves are kind of a relief though. All the way up top after after this part. Holy moly. Can't even see them. No, they're not there. Yeah. Alright, then I started going to this guy, Ben O Z. And he's done all my favorite tattoos I have on me. He's one of my favorite tattoo artists. I got the chrysanthemum with the skull here. I really like that one. And he also did this beetle with the skull right on my throat, which actually wasn't as painful as you would think. A lot of people ask me how painful this was and it's not even up there with the rest of it. It doesn't even compare it to the bear. So we got that guy. Then we got the Luna Moth with the moon on the other side of my neck. That needs a touch up on the leaf, but I'm pretty happy with that one as well. Love Luna Moths, love scythes, beetles, pumpkins, all my favorite things. So then I'll take you down to my, my legs. We'll start with the bottom. So these were more bedroom tats. This was like a part of a snowboard graphic I really liked with the, the all seeing eyes and the spaceship. We got the little skater dude getting abducted on my pinky toe. And then my toes say heel flips. I'm probably gonna get them hit one more time, but I kind of like the, the look of them because it's a skateboard tattoo, so it's not gonna be, it's all rugged and not perfect anyway. And at the bottom of my legs, we got a centipede going up my shin. I really love this tattoo. So this whole leg was done by Ben, Ben OZ on Instagram. So we did that centipede. This was actually the first tattoo on my on this leg was the snake with the three skulls. I love that one. I love the color palette on it, the blue and pink. It's the only blue I have on this whole leg too, but I really love it. He specializes in snakes and skulls, so this is like right up his alley. Then on the back, we got some snake fangs and some teeth on a rope, a little filler. We got a skull here, pink skull with the red eyes. Super cool, creative skull. That was just one day he was tatting me and he sent me a bunch of options and to hook me up because I got tatted so many times. So that was just sent me like five skulls and that was one of the ones I picked out. This I think is my favorite tattoo. It's a rat reaper with the scythe. And I just absolutely love it. It's super cool green with the purple like magenta blood and the, just the color combos are so cool with the two different colors. So you have to get an angle of this side too. Let me see. Yeah, I love this rat. I love it so much. Probably my favorite piece of art on my body. Okay, then we got this super crazy spider with eyes all over it. I love eyes all over everything. I got that toy machine shirt that has eyes everywhere and just, when I seen this one, I had to get it. And it's my favorite color combination, like lime green into purple, right there on the front of my legs, super sweet. One of my other favorites, definitely. It's between this one and the rat that are my favorite, I would say. 
We go up my leg. Well, we got this skull right on the side of my knee. It's like an alien skull with like lime green teeth and eyes. Yeah, Ben is so good, and he's so good with the colors and the skulls. It's just, that's why he's one of my favorite artists. Got this chrysanthemum with the eyeball. This was drawn on. So he just drew this on right on the spot, right on my kneecap. And I don't, back in the day, I got this Ninja Turtle that was kind of just, it was, the tattoo was fine. It was just in a, a weird placement that like, it got in the way of the other tattoos. And so he's just peeking through a little Mike, Michelangelo, peeking through the back there. He's still there. We got this witch hand on the side here. This one is amazing. Couldn't be happier with that, with the bandages and all the jewels. The ring. Love that one. And coming up the leg, we got this big Medusa piece. It's got like 12 snakes in it. Got Medusa, it's got a skull on the head. Teeth all over it. Yeah, this was one of my longest sessions. It was just about six hours. It was painful, but it's so worth it. It's all hairy now. I love the snakes. This is my favorite snake out of all of them. I really like that one. Now we come around the side. We got the, uh, the Valkyrie. Wait, is that what it is? Let me try it again. Alright, we come up the side. We got this Valkyrie here. Love this piece. I love these thigh pieces because the sun never hits them, so they stay like completely as the day I got them. Love this one. He's got the dripping blood, the face tats. So cool. So those were all done by Ben, but his younger brother, Dave, I started going to recently. He did this Baby Yaga house. I love it. Came out incredible. That right on the back of my leg, right in the knee ditch. It's like a crazy house with chicken legs that like witches live in and they hunt and eat children. It's a crazy story about them. I've always wanted one tattooed. I got one. So happy with it. And then Dave also did this bird skull in the potion. Oh, look at that. I got a little guy down here. Okay, I got this pumpkin spider, also by Dave. Love this design. Love the colors. This is Bark at the Maroon. It's just a funny color. And the final tat I have here is an Angelo Parente piece. He's the Halloween guy. Got the pumpkin-headed ghost. I'm so happy to get a piece from him. If you ever type in Halloween tattoos, you're gonna see his work. Everyone copies off his work, and he just does the best Halloween tats. So All right, well, those are my current tats. I'm sure I'm going to get some soon, and then once I get a few more, I'll do a little update. But I'll show you a few of Emily's that she has, because she also has an Angelo piece that's incredible. She's got a lover's piece right here. Humongous six-hour piece. 